Hey guys, thanks for checking out my first video blog post. Um, for those of you who don't know, the reason why I'm doing this today is it's my 100th post. And a few weeks ago, I asked you guys to send in um, some comments or emails letting me know what you'd like me to do today. Um, I got a lot of really awesome comments and uh, messages and all that stuff, so thank you so much. And I'll definitely be doing more of these, so if yours didn't get included today, then keep looking because I'm sure I'll have one for you in the next week or two. So anyways, the style that we're doing today is a hair post about braids, and the reason why we're doing it is because it's like the hottest look of summer right now, and all the celebrities are wearing these side braids, which I love. But um, today we're focusing on one braid in particular that's actually inspired by Vanessa Hudgens, of all people. Um, you can see in this picture she's got this awesome side braid, which is pretty much the most popular trend right now um, in Hollywood and everywhere. Everyone's wearing side braids that are a little messy. You can see the hairs are kind of out on the sides and everything. And the reason why I love fishtails is because I have super thick hair and I also have fine hair, which is like the two worst things for a braid because it falls out pretty much right when I put it in. So whenever I do a regular braid down the side, pretty much an hour later I have to you know, find a mirror and redo it again. Um, and this look isn't all about being perfectly put together, obviously, but um, you also want it to stay in place. So we're going to start with the fishtail braid. I know a lot of people don't know how to fishtail braid, so I figured this would be a good way to teach you if you don't already know. So how I'm going to start, um, you can see my hair is damp. It's not wet, wet, um, but the dampness is good for two reasons. One, it just keeps the hair more controllable, which is always good. And two, it helps with our first step, which is to put some mousse in our hair, which will help it stay. And the reason why we do this um, when your hair is wet is because then it won't make it all crunchy as it dries, which is always really gross. So um, I have long hair, as you can see, it's pretty long. So I use like just under a golf ball size um, amount of mousse. Obviously, if your hair is a little shorter, you won't want to use this much. And like I said, my hair is pretty thick. So, you know, start with a little and then you can add more as you go. You want to kind of run it through your hands first and then just run it through your hair, mostly towards the ends. Um, you can do a little on top, but you don't really want that crunchiness on top. And it's not going to really need that around your actual skull. You just want it for the length of your hair so that... When you braid it and as it dries it will stay together so just kind of run that through until you feel most of the residue is off um, of your hands and onto your hair and then one thing I like to do too I have lots of layers in my hair and so a lot of times the shorter layers will fall out so before I do the braid I like to secure it first just with like a regular hair elastic and obviously do that a little off to the side because we're doing a side braid so I'll secure it with the elastic first, and if you have trouble with hair falling out down here, you can also take a bobby pin or two and just kind of secure the back with a bobby pin. And then that way you're kind of ready to go. You've got it ready for you. It's nice and secure. So here's a fishtail braid. It's actually really easy. Um, the other thing I like about this style is it looks more complicated than a regular braid, but it really isn't. So all you have to do, you're going to divide your hair into two strands and then you take the outer edge of each strand like this and you just cross it over. And then rather than having to keep track of it like you would with a regular braid, once it crosses over, it just blends with the rest of the big fat strand. So you do that, then you go to the other edge right here, take a bit thicker piece, you can see my layers here. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to just cross it over and let it combine with the original thick strand. And so basically, that's all it is. You just cross it over from the edge. And again. And you just keep going across as you go down. And you'll see, like, this is sticking out a little bit. That stuff is totally fine. And if it sticks out more than you want at the end, I'll show you how to bobby pin the strands in. So here we go. We're just crossing over one edge to another and try and keep them pretty thin in uh, 
comparison to the rest of the braid, like this is a pretty thin strand in comparison to how thick the rest of it is, just because that keeps it tighter as you go along. And that's always a nice look, and it just makes it easier. It will hold longer, and you can always make it messier at the end, but you can't make it less messy very easily. So you just kind of go down, keep it pretty tight. You're going to pull it tight as you go. You just cross it. You know, you pull it tight like that's pretty easy. Take it across. And, uh, you know, the first couple times you try it, it might be a little tough, but it's just like anything, the more you practice and definitely having the wet hair makes it easier. If you do it the first time with your dry hair, it might not work out so well, so. Here we go. So as you get down to the bottom, um, it gets a little more difficult just because your hair, if your hair is like mine and it's layered, it starts to thin out significantly at the bottom. So you can do a couple things. You can either stop your braid, you know, especially if you're new, you can stop your braid up a little higher. And then sometimes what I like to do is I'll curl the ends and that looks really polished and it's a really nice look. And then once you know how to do it better, if you want to braid it all the way down, you can go ahead and do that. So I'll just stop, I'll do a couple more and then I'll stop right about here. And I like to use um, these smaller hair elastics just because they're not so bulky at the bottom. And so that's not what's standing out, it's the braid that's standing out, so that's always good. Mine are black, I wish I had brown but I don't have any brown right now. So like this piece is sticking out a lot and if I wanted to I could just take a bobby pin and pin that in to the back of the braid, which is the part you're not really going to see. Um, but the truth of the matter is, so if you want it super polished like this, you can do that. But I kind of like to mess it up a little bit. I just like how that looks. It's kind of what Vanessa did. So all you have to do is just kind of pull up the edges and let it be a little messy. And as it dries too, it'll naturally do this a little bit. Sometimes I like it a little fatter at the top like that. You kind of pull the top a little more. And so, yeah, as the braid dries, it will uh, naturally kind of do this. And you can just kind of help it along. And if you want to, you know, leave the house right away, um, I would recommend just going over it with a blow dryer a little bit just so it doesn't look like you hopped out of the shower and, you know, went out into the world. And then, of course... To dress it up a little bit it's always fun to put like a little flower or something so there you go I mean that only took a minute or two and you can see it's like a pretty you know cute style and it's easy to do and it looks a lot more put together than just a regular old ponytail so I hope that helped you guys learn a little bit about how to do a fishtail braid and I also hope that you guys try it out and send me pictures um, so if you have any questions of your own or if you want to send me some photos of your awesome braided hairstyles shoot an email over to kim at blendingbeautiful.com. Thanks for reading and thanks for watching.